Day one. Thank you, that's, that's very nice of you. What? What do you think about to make it last so long? What do you applaud? <laughs> <laughs> You're a nice group, and I think I'll stay the whole hour. <laughs> now, I want you to know that we don't do what a lot of shows do during this month. This is what is known as sweeps periods or rating weeks for the networks. A lot of shows resort to violence, uh, sexual innuendo, you know, in order to get ratings. We do not do that. I watched Booth. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Even public television is, I mean, is getting ridiculous. I watched William F. Buckley last night on Firing Line. He was debating one of Ed's spokesmodels. He just sex things up a little bit. <laughs> I said I was going to stay the whole hour. <laughs> no, but they're putting, I think, they're going out of the way. They put sex into everything. NBC has a historical documentary on tonight. Heather Locklear in Gidget Goes to Ellis Island. <laughs> How many of you watched that miniseries, Ellis yeah. Island? Okay. It was produced by the same people who produced Love Boat, which explains to me, I couldn't figure out, why two of the immigrants from Poland were Cesar Romero and Charo. <laughs> <laughs> and then the real tip-off came when the Russian exiles were greeted on Ellis Island by tattoos saying, The boat, boss, the boat. <laughs> and as television is wont to do, I like that, I don't know why, is wont to do, did you notice subtly, they changed the history of Ellis Island just to get sponsor approval? Do you remember, there's a scene where the narrator came on and says, You've just come over from Europe in steerage. You're hot and you're thirsty. It's Miller time. <laughs> Didn't sit well. <laughs> Wonder how long we could do this with nothing happening. <laughs> Nothing's happening anyway, so why not? Go ahead. Did you read in the paper today there was a project? I guess it was Amtrak. Amtrak is the well, it's the train people, to put it uh, precisely. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to build what they call a bullet train, which is supposed to run from San Diego to Los Angeles, supposed to travel 160 miles an hour, and they couldn't come up with $50 million, and they canceled the project, so we will not have... It's too bad, in a way, because a bullet train is something we needed out here. Um, it'd be nice to have a train that could out race an earthquake. <laughs> no, 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 not, no, not. No, I can tell that's what you call sympathy applause. <laughs> Only applaud if you really mean it. Don't don't figure you let's give him something we got in free. <laughs> I was just looking at the uh, I was back in the newsroom. Uh, yeah, you know, KNBC's newsroom up there. And I like to check the news before I come out here and let you know what's what's happening. This just came in. Reagan is trying to push a bill through Congress that would permit bedtime prayers in cabinet meetings. <laughs> I suppose this will come as a great shock to you that Reagan said today that deep cuts are needed in the budget. That's what makes Reagan a great leader. He tells us after the election. <laughs> now, he had a cabinet meeting yesterday to think of ways of reducing the deficit. Now, if you notice, they never use the term tax increase. You never hear that, friend. Revenue enhancement. <laughs> It sounds kind of nice. Revenue. Get the feeling when a Republican's out with a girl and he's trying to make out. He says, come on, honey. Think of it as pleasure enhancement. <laughs> but the president is not working. <laughs> I'll get out of this. <laughs> he's working on a, a tax simplification plan. Not tax simplification. Tax simplification. <laughs> <laughs> tax simplification. That's not easy. It means no matter what you make, you send it in all in by Federal Express <laughs> so it absolutely, positively gets to the Pentagon overnight. That's what it was. See, if you don't tell the jokes right, this, 
this is what you can expect, and you're, you're absolutely right. Here's a little item in the paper that uh, you'll probably find uh, not too humorous either. <laughs> Did you see there is a new product on the market? It was in the LA Times today, a cologne for truck drivers. Now, how many of you saw it? I'm not making it up. It's a cologne for, called Long Haul. <laughs> They're marketing it at truck stops at $16 for a four-ounce bottle called Long Haul. Now, I'm not surprised truckers have a good cologne. People have been telling me all my life, if you want to find a really good perfume shop, go where the truck drivers are. <laughs> if you're looking for an expensive cologne, they have another one for your trucker. It's called Canel... Uh, of Chanel. <laughs> I was going to say it's Chanel. T uh, Ch what the hell am I trying to say? What the hell? Thank you. Thank you. What? Thank you. For what? I can use that. Oh, your blooper show. <laughs> you, think, you think I came out to do this for your show? Let me try to get one right. <laughs> Don't depend on it. Charlton Heston, they say in the paper, may run for senator from California. That's kind of weird. Uh, Heston said he was told to run by a burning palm tree. <laughs> magazine and according to the New York Times also had an interesting thing if you've ever watched the pictures they take in the Oval Office of the president do you know that the same plant has been in the Oval Office for five administrations yeah, I'm talking about a, a plant a, a green plant for five administrations I think it's rhododendron they found out the plant earns fifty thousand dollars a year <laughs> it's a uh, Sad comment that a rhododendron lasted longer in office than Jimmy Carter. <laughs> and had more charisma, by the way. <laughs> Look, plants should do very well in the whites, considering what they spread around there. I mean, they gotta grow like weeds. Eh? <laughs> we have an exciting show. I don't think one of the guests you mentioned, later on, Dr. Ruth Westheimer. We'll be out here. And tell us how to stuff a Thanksgiving turkey without becoming emotionally involved. First of all, we have uh, Mr. George Siegel tonight. Actor and